Welcome to the Hot Diggity Dog Vlog. Today we are going to be examining North Battleford's chief export, the Hot Diggity Dogger. As you can see here, this Hot Diggity Dogger, uh, which I picked up in the Mennonite community closet, um, has a story to it. The Greenhead Grand Opening, 1990. Let's talk about the Hot Diggity Dogger for a minute. Basically it looks and uh, operates just like a toaster would. Excuse me. And uh, you put the hot diggity dogs in there. Now, obviously, these two uh, kind of half circle kind of things here. Uh oh, drop the dog. Bad news. It's actually bad luck while you're hot diggity dogging to drop a hot dog. But uh, actually, these half circles things over here are basically for your buns. And you can uh, operate your hot diggity dogger. Come sa. And, ladies and gentlemen, Throw the switch, if you would. Best thing to do uh, with a hot diggity dogger when you're on the road, as we are, is to stop at every truck stop and uh, McDonald's and pick up all of their small packets of condiments. The more of an array of condiments you have, ultimately, the better your hot diggity dog is going to be. So, basically, the idea is just to get as much going on as you can there. And then tune back in in a few minutes, and we'll be eating our hot diggity dogs. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to uh, eat our hot diggity dogs. They're just about finished. Usually it takes about two cycles to get them done. And here we are. Well, you can see uh, the hot diggity dog is actually grilled to perfection. Uh, it's uh, sweating, as you can see. That's a good sign. Um, I'm to get my ketchup packet open here. And here we go. Here's to you guys. Bon appetit. Mmm. Hot diggity dog.